Oh, this is a look. This is a vibe. It's a vibe. Am I in focus? That's my constant cry if I'm in focus. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I should have spared you. I should have spared your ears. Anyway, today is just a great, great day and I want to share with you a little bit of a throwback video to November when I actually had my first Thanksgiving, like official Thanksgiving dinner. I lost all the footage for that or my best friend did. One of us did. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. I went to Friendsgiving a week or so after that and I'll share with you the wonderful spread here. Anyway, Thanksgiving was just so wonderful and as we get close to the end of the calendar year because I ended my year and I've already started a new year because you know my new year started in November. I realized that 2019 has been a trying year. It has been a great year and a tough year and a bad year, but a good year, good year. Anyway, there are some things that I am totally grateful for and I'm gonna share five of them with you. Firstly, I am grateful for life. It sounds so cliche and sometimes when we give thanks and we pray, we don't even mention that because we feel like it's a given, you know? I'm here, but we didn't have to be. There are so many persons who have died. There are so many persons who were young. I remember when I was growing up, the persons who died were elderly people. Those days are gone. When you hear about persons having cancer, autoimmune diseases, different um, problems and problems with their immune system and all of that. These are young people, sometimes persons younger than myself and I consider myself to be young. And persons are dying left, right and center. So each year that I'm blessed with another, um, I'm just always so grateful because I know that many persons aren't here with us because you know they're dead so i'm grateful for life i am grateful for family the family that i was blessed to be born in and the family that i have gathered or i've become a part of as the years went by the roses the Guthrie's, um with other families all the other families that have taken me in and have been very kind and thoughtful because I mean, it's not blood, but you know, the bond is still strong and I'm absolutely, absolutely grateful for family. I am also grateful specifically for my mother. And I'm not even sure if I can remember the name of the place. Katama Mommy is right. in Treasure Beach. We're enjoying ourselves so very much. I don't say this often enough, but I am totally indebted to her. She single-handedly, honestly, contributes to like 90% of who I am. Some of the things that, the way she grew me, and the lesson she taught me in her own little way, because as you would have known, my mom is just 16 years older than I am, but the wealth of knowledge that she, you know, bestowed on me, I will forever be grateful. The way she's taught me to be myself, don't change myself for anyone else, and always be thoughtful. So um, I would have made mention of the time when my father wasn't really in my life and my mom at no point told me to hate him. Even when I would get upset, she'd say, you know what, at the end of the day, he is your father. I'm not saying you have to go out on a limb and all of that, but respect that fact, the fact that he is your father. So when my father came back, my mom had already taught me forgiveness. She taught me to own who I was. So it was not hard for us to us, as in my father and I, to create a good relationship that works to date. So even my father, I'm grateful for him. Like now we have a really good steady relationship that I'm absolutely grateful for, which reminds me that I have to just bring into this conversation around Stan Rose. Like that's dad. Yeah. When I started university, that was that that was the person who showed up for me and who showed me right there in my presence what it is to have a father. And I am totally indebted to him. Totally grateful. Big up yourself, dad. You know, you're going to fix with me. Coming ashore, I'm going to get for come a Christmas dinner. But you know what it is. 
what else am I grateful for I am grateful for my friends I'm grateful for the persons who are so close to me that I call them friends and family honestly they're like family that just don't share, share the same bloodline they have always been there for me I have to call out Camellia Ked Arnold these are persons who are always always in my corner these are persons I can run my ideas by these are persons when I'm in my hard time I can turn to and just know that there's a word of encouragement or even silence because sometimes that's all we need silence just somewhere to feel safe and I'm happy that these persons have always been there to create the atmosphere that I need to you know grow as a person I'm also grateful for my personality. I do believe, let me look in the camera, I do believe that I'm a very beautiful person. Honestly, I do believe I'm a very beautiful person. The only problem I have with my, my, problem, my body, as anybody who knows me know, is my belly. That's the only problem. It's a beautiful belly, but I just think it stores too much fat. And that's my only problem there. But apart from that, I absolutely love my personality, which is like the sum of who I am. I really, really love that so yeah me go pat myself on the shoulder there so um is there room for improvement can i grow as a person can i be better yes how far i've come am i grateful for that yes and i also am grateful for persistence may not know if my past five may not stop no um persistence my mom always taught me this thing i was sharing it with cam the other day because sometimes we want to go ahead and we want to do things and we just and for a while I was like that, where you just want to do the big thing right now. You just want to achieve everything right now. And my mom would always say to me, Beanie, the constant dripping of water washes away a stone. As a child, you're like, oh, okay, all right, here we go again. But it's true. Little by little things are done. One one cocoa, full basket. So this part is like an encouragement, an encouragement to all of you wonderful people who have tuned into my vlog and who are and who are <laughs> and who are here to support me. Sometimes or maybe times in the past, maybe time to come, maybe right now, you find that you want to work on some projects, whether it's yourself or some, you know, projects that have been close to your heart and you just want it to happen my advice to you is do a little today do the little bit that you can right now and you'd be surprised because the year has completely ended well not completely completely but technically it's done and we might be like oh gosh another year has passed and I have not accomplished the things that I had set out to do and you can feel sad and you feel down and you know what don't linger in self-pity but there's a time and place for that because that's the time when you have to talk to yourself and say look here goody this half is stop my half is changed this not gonna away and so you realize that what is the one thing that you can do today you want to start your vlog but you don't have a fancy camera do you have a phone do you have a friend who has a phone that you can use to record and you record something short you record something that you don't need to edit and you post to that because you have a goal and the truth is even the things that I have planned for my vlog and the things that I want to do they will evolve over time and the only time the only way to get better is by practicing so keep practicing whatever it is that you need to do keep doing just a little bit today and a little bit tomorrow my friends who sing can tell you just a little bit of practice each day and before you know it you are singing like you belong at the opera so look here just do what you need to do sort out yourself and don't be caught in this position next year or next month because we're not about the resolution thing we're waiting for January right now today if you can change something do it now I digressed that is normal by now <laughs> that is normal I tell you 10 stories before I finish one but at the end of the day I am grateful grateful for life I'm grateful for you guys I'm grateful for love I've been blessed with a lot of that I'm grateful for the ability to love thank you for your support and we look forward to great things Yes, may I look forward to them. So great things to happen in the next couple of weeks, couple of days, next few months. Because we're going to be great together. Bye-bye.